Welcome to the How to Play video for Blank, the fast and fun card game where players will look to get rid of their hands of cards by matching colours and numbers. When playing cards, always on rule cards need to be followed, and failure to do so means that you might have to take penalties. There are also effects on game cards that trigger when played on top of the discard pile, and if you manage to get rid of all of your cards first, you not only win, you also get to make a permanent change to the game, meaning future plays will always be different, and every copy quickly becomes a unique snapshot of the people who created it. Between 2 and 6 people can play, and games take around 10 to 15 minutes. Ready to learn how to play? Let's begin by looking at the different cards you'll find in the game. There are 72 game cards in a copy of blank, split into 6 different colours. Each card also shows a number between 1 and 6 in the top left and right hand corners. Some have an illustration in the top half of the card, and a handful of cards also have written game effect text in the bottom half, as well as a card title. A copy of blank also includes 15 pre-written rule cards, as well as a handful of plain ones. The top half of the rule card is the trigger, something that could happen in or around a game of blank. Should that trigger actually happen, the text on the lower half comes into play. This is the action, and it must always be followed if the rule card is activated during play. To set the game up, begin by taking the cards from the box and separating them into two different piles. While both card types have yellow backs, you'll see that the rule cards are block yellow and the larger game card deck is covered in illustrations. Flip the rule cards over and remove any plain cards. These won't be used quite yet. Shuffle the remaining rule cards and deal three of them face up to the middle of the table, reading each one out clearly so every player understands them. Place the rest of the rule cards deck next to these three face up cards. Next, shuffle the game cards, then deal seven face down to each player. Place the remaining game cards in the middle of the table near the rule cards to form a draw pile. Flip the top card up and begin the discard pile for this round, then choose a starting player. You're now ready to begin. Each turn the current player must play at least one card from their hand that matches either the colour or the number of the card currently on top of the discard pile. And if you can play a card, you must play a card. In this case, I could play at least one 4 card, or at least one purple card. As I have multiple 4s and multiple purples, I could play more than one card on this turn, but I can never play a combination of colours and numbers together. For example, in this instance, playing both the purple 6 and green 4 on the same turn would not be allowed. When you've played at least one card to the discard pile, you should check to see if any of the currently in play rule cards are activated. Only the card at the very top of the discard pile counts when activating rule cards, so anything hidden beneath when multiple cards are played does not count. In this case, I've played two purple cards showing the numbers 6 and 1. As the 1 is the top card, this rule activates and this rule activates. The previous player must name the colour of the card, and the next player must name an animal. However, if the 6 was on top, only the name an animal rule would activate, as the 1 is covered. When multiple rule cards trigger at the same time, it's down to players to decide which order these will be resolved in. This purple 6 also shows a game effect, which we'll look at next. When playing cards from your hand to the discard pile, you'll notice that some of them have written text on the bottom half of the card. These are called game effects, and they trigger when the card is the top card currently on the discard pile. In this example, when this card is on top of the discard pile, I have to choose another player who will talk and act very slowly for the rest of the game. The card effect text must be dealt with immediately, and once it's been decided, the game continues as normal. But don't forget to see if the card also triggers one or more rule cards. If you don't want to activate the game effect on a card, you can try and hide it below another when playing multiple cards from your hand. However, sometimes you may be forced into playing a card that you don't want to. Remember, if you can play a card, you must play a card. Anytime you fail to correctly follow the text on either a rule card or a game effect, or anytime you can't play a card from your hand, you suffer a penalty. This simply means that you must draw an extra card from the draw pile, and that your turn ends immediately. Even if the card you draw could potentially be played to the discard pile, you will have to wait until a future turn. 
When a player has managed to get rid of all of the cards from their hand, even if it isn't currently their turn, they win the game immediately. To reward their skillful play, they now get to make a permanent mark on the game. The player can decide to do one of two things, either create a brand new rule card, or customize a game card. When creating a new rule card, the winning player should come up with a new rule that will be used in future games, then write it on one of the unused plain rule cards from the box. The rule should be comprised of two parts, the if section and the then section. The if section should be something that could potentially happen in or around a game of blank. For example, if an even numbered card is played, or if a person sneezes during a game. The then section should then state what must happen when this trigger occurs. A player could draw two cards, or may only be able to talk in French for the rest of the game, for example. C'est très difficile. You should discuss your rule card idea with other players at the table, but the final say goes to the person who actually owns the copy of the game. Make your rule as accessible to as many players as you can, and think about what kind of effect your rule may have on the game in the long run. When customizing a game card, the winning player should come up with a game effect that will trigger every time that card appears on top of the discard pile. Choose a card from the deck, either with an illustration or without, then come up with an effect that you'd like to see happen in future games of blank. We've included cards that are illustrated that will hopefully inspire you to come up with fun ideas, but there are also plenty of blank cards that allow you to draw your own images as well as come up with the accompanying text. Remember, these cards do not need a trigger. The effect will happen any time the card is played on top of the discard pile, so you only need to come up with what will happen should that occur. The next player might be forced to switch hands with someone else, or make a cup of tea for the rest of the group. The choices are endless, as you make blank your game. For more details and suggestions on how to create rule cards and customizing game cards, you can check out this section of the rules. We also have card suggestions on our website, our YouTube channel, and the blank Instagram feed where you can submit your own card ideas. We hope you enjoy playing and can't wait to hear about the different ways that you make blank your game. Whether you're turning it into a trivia game, a dexterity game, a family game, or something else entirely, have fun with blank and enjoy creating something that's unique to you and your fellow players.